um, just a reminder that um, your life as a Christian is not a performance. Our worship of the King of Kings and Lord of Lords is not a performance. And when we come here together, some are sitting, some are standing, but the Holy Spirit can minister to all of us. And for me, there's going to be healing in worshiping with you this way this morning. And uh, you're going to know part of what I'm singing. There's an old hymn, Just As I Am, without one plea, but that thy blood was shed for me. And um, you can wait a long time to get yourself ready to do what God's called you to do. But chances are, you probably won't be able to get yourself ready, which is exactly the point of the gospel. One of the verses of the song, Just As I Am, says, Just as I am, though tossed about with many a conflict, many a doubt, fightings and fears within, without, O Lamb of God, I come. And the surrender is in the coming, even though we don't feel ready and we are not perfect. Our walk with God is not a performance. I want to say I really appreciate it in one of the Wednesday night prayer meetings lately. There was a, a brave soul that made a beautiful confession about something that had happened in their past at only age one that was keeping this person stuck, felt stuck. And, you know, the response wasn't shame and condemnation. The response of the body of Christ was, come, come, let's pray. Let's go to the Lord together. And so um, I'm asking, reminding myself in this, that if we could as a church body let mercy lead, I think we'd see a lot of healing in our land, too, and in our families. And um, I don't know about you, but I've been hurt a lot of times just by people's pride. And they might not even know it, you know, that they were said something that was just prideful. I, don't, I have hurt people so many times by saying something that was so prideful. But you know, you don't realize till later a lot of times. And so let's let mercy lead. Uh, Romans chapter eight, verse one, has been my go-to verse for the last two years. Um, there were a lot of low times during the pandemic. Um, and I, I had to have the Bible read to me with an audio device because for some reason I couldn't just go and pick it up, which, was, uh, which made it even harder because I never thought that would happen to me, that I couldn't just go pick up my Bible. I know it's the source. So I had it just read over and over to me digitally. I, but the truth is the truth, no matter how you hear it. So <clears throat> the verse that I'm singing is from Romans 8.1. There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. And verse 2, because through Christ Jesus, the law of the spirit of life set me free from the law of sin and death. I told you it's not a performance, and you'll know it when I'm playing and singing. But sing with your heart and listen with your heart. And I'd actually like you to sing with me. I hope that the lyrics will show up on the screen so that when we come to Just As I Am, you can sing along with me. And if you feel like you can echo some of what I'm singing, then I hope you will. 
because it's not a performance. You're singing to the Lord. Through Christ 